black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up? So today I got some pizza pizza. Um, I think it's strictly Canadian, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, we got a panzerotti. So some fried dough, just plain cheese and sauce. I've never had it from here before and uh, I'm very excited to, to try it actually because it smells very carnival-esque. I feel like I'm at, uh, you know, some sort of a place where I'm gonna go on a ride and barf it up. So that's kind of what that's smelling like. We also got deep fried pickles. These are actually super banging from this spot. They just have a dope ass crunch and their chicken tenders are pretty fire as well, to be honest. I cannot lie. So Pizza Pizza isn't known to be like the best food around. Uh, lots of people kind of hate on it. I don't really love it myself, but this is some of their menu items that are actually, in my opinion, quite good. Honey mustard up in the front. And then of course, you guys know me. I come equipped with my own sauces, of course. So I got a little BBQ action here on a little dip napkin platter up in the front here. And we've got, of course, the Hidden Valley Ranch. I'm still looking for that brand deal from Hidden Valley. Like, please come through. It's like, I will rep your product to the grave, honestly. So, and then of course I got the cherry sauce for the squeeze on the chicken fingers just to see and then we're actually going to be doing the other day i posted a assumptions about me um thing on my youtube so i'm going to be answering whatever is read on uh, put on there and i haven't read any yet so that should be very very interesting so i'm actually going to get youtube open here and get to that part and I haven't clicked in yet. I don't want to click in quite yet because I want it to be a surprise. But I can tell you already, I already for sure know there's going to be, like obviously it's going to be about me being bald or something. That's an assumption for sure. But I want to look at this Panzerati more than anything first. Looks great. Mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you, that's exactly what I wanted. Wow. That dough is so... Oh my God, light and fluffy. I found a new thing that I actually would like from this place. That's, that is Stretch Armstrong level street, uh, cheese string. Wow. You guys remember that toy? His arms and legs used to stretch out. Look at that. Unreal. That's cartoon. That's straight up cartoon. Ranch dip, of course. Oh man. This is that cheese you gotta be very careful of though. This this is the cheese that you might say in your obituary he was choked out by cheese. Your headstone might say. This man was put here by cheese. Cause this is that really stringy, thick, kinda mozzarella stick type shit where you go for the swallow and it just locks in. The next thing you know, You're freaking out trying to call 911. Okay. Oh man, I can't stop eating this. It's so good.
Okay. Let's read an assumption. <laughs> These are going to be out of control. There's only 26, and I'm sure a couple of them will be doubles. So hopefully there's enough here for me to, to elaborate on. So first one is, I assume you are sweet and romantic. Um, <laughs> it all depends, I guess, like, chicken tendy. I, uh, I wouldn't say like for sure sweet and romantic, but like I'm nice. I'm nice to the girls in my life, like in, that I'm with and stuff. As long as, I don't know if I'm like into them like that. Um, romantic, I am kind of in that sense, like I'm a sucker for like romance like romantic like movies and shit like that the idea of romance I myself am not good at it I'm very bad at being like thoughtful like that was definitely a, a standout issue in my prior relationship um, that I didn't do enough romantic gestures, but I have a theory that romantic gestures and relationships are very One-sided, I feel like men don't look for them or need them, and women, for some reason, do look for them and need them constantly, but that's just because a lot of times women are seeking validation from their men, and so you, at random, like, complimenting her hair and stuff helps her feel self-confident, but, like, I'd rather just be with the person who has their confidence all together anyways and just knows that their value like you know what I mean like I'm giving I'm spending like 80% of my time with you I'm choosing to like go out with you places and call you mine like isn't that enough validation why do I have to like every other day do some weird courteous act that makes you think like oh he actually likes me it's like I, I'm clearly like you I'm fucking here so anyways ranted on that I assume you're a down-to-earth dude partly because you're Canadian. Could be true. Could be true. I am very down-to-earth. I just like it chill. Don't like to be too egocentric, I guess, but I mean... I'm not perfect in that, but I have the ability. I think I see things from all angles and like I, I, I consider everything, you know? I don't just exist from one viewpoint. So that allows me to be more down to earth, more humble, more understanding of you know, life in different situations and that everybody struggles and everybody's facing their own battles and life is pretty difficult. Excuse me. All those things like that, you know? I assume you are for Trump. Um, I don't really know, like, when it comes to Trump, when it comes to politics, 
presidents and prime ministers and stuff in Canada. I don't know what's going on really. Like I don't, all I know is that I know who's in power, but I also know that politics and presidents and everything, that's all just a, horse and pony show I don't think those guys are actually making really any decisions it's all been pre-planned and predetermined um, but as far as Trump goes I uh, I'll say this I just find him in general very entertaining he's a great entertainer i have something about like i just get a kick out of the guy like when he's just being the way he is all his like just his his isms and like the way he talks and the words he uses and his like unbridled confidence and his ego. Very, very funny to me. Very, very entertaining. I assume you're actually the embodiment of God. Well, it's very kind of you to say. I'm gonna stay humble and down to earth and not let it go to my head, but it is true to some extent because I believe that everybody is partly the embodiment of God because we are all consciousness in a vessel. We're all kind of the same thing. And we're all part of a huge system playing a piece in the puzzle and I mean, it's all connected. It's all intertwined. So we could very well be God to some degree. I assume you wish you could quit your job and do YouTube for a living. 100%. Absolutely. Not going to happen anytime soon because my channel is just a whatever slow crawl. I don't make that much money off it. I don't know how there's these people who, even people with like 200,000 or whatever subs, it's like, well, you have to get really consistently good amount of views on your videos. And so I see people being like, oh yeah, this is my living now. This is what I do for work. I'm just like, what, how? I don't make, as it stands right now from my channel on YouTube, I might make enough money per year, an entire year, to pay my rent like twice, maybe. So, but yes, I would love to, that would be amazing. I want nothing more than to be my own entity, to be my own boss, to answer to no one, to just create content and have fun. I want to do other content too though. I want to do more than just this channel. But if I could have it so I didn't have to trade eight, nine hours of my day somewhere else and I could just stay home and make enough money doing videos, I would be able to start all the other ideas that I have and work on music and have a music channel, things like that. A bunch of things that I do want to create Eventually I'm going to get there, I'm saving a lot of money right now, and I'm going to be saving a lot of money all summer. Eventually I hope to have a place that's my own in the future. I know it's going to take time though, it's not going to be quick, it could be a year away still. Once I have my own space, the, the grind will be on another level. I'll be able to create what I want, when I want, anytime I want. 
And that for me right now is the dream. I assume you've tried every illicit drug in the book at least once, except for maybe heroin and crack and DMT. Uh, <laughs> I've definitely tried some drugs. I don't, I haven't done a lot of like psychedelics and stuff, you know, just, I've done like the pretty standard, standard drug list for sure. Uh, heroin is definitely not, I have not tried heroin. Uh, crack. Maybe there's a story behind that at some point. Who knows? Uh, and DMT. No, not DMT, but I would try DMT. I want to try it. Well, okay. I want to try DMT. I'm obsessed with it. I do a lot of research on it. I look, uh, you know, I watch videos and watch people like breaking through for the first time and shit like that. I would love to do DMT. But... I am definitely scared. Like, I would be terrified to do it. Even though, you know, I'm sure everything would go fine and come back and everything would be, I wouldn't, you know, die or whatever, but I would be scared. I don't know. I just, I feel like I would, you would come back and like you, your view on life would be so crazy. Like, you'd almost realize that it's so fake and like, or like it's almost like a, simulation or something you're like in a video game and then living the rest of your life would be super weird knowing that but at the same time it'd be like comforting because you know that you when you die you'd be returning to some like source place where it's like peaceful and like uh multi-dimensional spiritual realm and shit and so that would be dope but i don't know i just think it would be terrifying but also very enlightening i assume you listen to trash music <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's subjective. Trash music is dependent upon who's hearing it, so. I personally like really, like, vibey, more chill, kind of poppy, a lot of melody type music. Uh, if I, you consider that trash, then I listen to trash music. However, if you like that type of music, you probably think I don't listen to trash music. Like, for me, I hate, like, double pedal heavy metal shit like you know what I mean that just stuff just doesn't work for me but for other people they love it so it's all subjective I assume you used to be a skater that is true I did get my first uh, legit skateboard when I was like 12 Jason Dill pro model uh, what do I got for like the pig bearings, Spitfire wheels, <laughs> and what were my trucks? Like Powell maybe? Powell trucks or was that only Dex? I can't remember what my trucks were. But yeah, I was so stoked. I skated for a while, but I never got very good. Skating was very difficult, uh, super hard sport. I super admire anybody who got any good at it because it's very difficult. And I'll tell you this right now, snowboarding, I did for a long time, I was pretty good at. Dirt biking, same thing, I've crashed a bunch. Skateboarding is the most painful sport ever. Like, it hurts so much all the time. Taking bails from on skateboards, there's just so many different ways to get hurt. hurt. Even your board smoking you in the shin is like so painful. So, yeah. I assume you're a massive stoner still. Your assumption there, sir, is incorrect. I can't smoke weed. I found it very hilarious though that so many of you guys, I'll upload a video where I'm just tired. Also, I just have a problem with my eyes getting red. I use eye drops like every day, so I just have bad red eyes. On these videos, you guys are always like, he's baked as fuck, he's so lit. <laughs> when in reality, I'm not. I haven't smoked weed, like for real, in like 10 years. Because I get crazy panic attacks from it. And weed is responsible for me 
developing a uh, panic disorder, basically, an anxiety and panic disorder. Weed is what set it all off, and I've never been the same since, and it's really fucking ruined my life, so fuck weed. But for those who it works for, hey, weed, you know? It's not for me. I used to love it, but not anymore. I assume that you somehow have a lifetime supply of chicken wings stashed in your fridge. Mm, not true just for the fact that they would go bad and be gross, so I like to buy them fresh from the store. But, uh, I could see how you would assume that. I do love chicken wings. As per my channel plug, Wingman ASMR, that's a channel that I'm making. Please go over there and hit the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, and comment and share and love it so it can be bigger and cool. Oh, another one. You are a big Trump fan, so I just, I must seem like a racist, egocentric white man. I never knew I gave off that vibe. Apparently I do to more than one person, so I'm sorry for that. Not true. Uh, I don't really give a shit about politics in general uh, or who's running what, but um, I do find Trump very entertaining. So yes, I've already said this. I assume you go out wearing shorts and a t-shirt with a coat on top when it's freezing cold outside. Not that guy, never been that guy. Uh, I had this one buddy who always used to do that. Um, to do quick runs, to like go start the vehicle. It's Canada, you have to start your vehicle and let it run for like half an hour before work uh, in the winter. So he used to run out in his boxes all the time and do that. But um, for me, no, I've never been that guy. Even when like I have a grocery store downstairs in my, uh, where I live in my condo and I'll do like quick runs down there. I always put on appropriate attire. I never uh, not wear pants. I don't show bare leg. Very often in the summertime, I hardly ever wear shorts. I'm not a shorts guy. I don't like exposing my legs for whatever reason. I don't know. They are fine looking. They're very pasty and white though, so probably that plays into it, but never been a huge shorts guy outside of the house. Now, alternatively, inside of the house, as soon as I get in the door, my pants are off, my socks are off, my shorts are on. I call them my life shorts. Uh, house shorts, whatever, chilling shorts. Uh, but I say life is short, wear life shorts, and also a t-shirt and relax in bed. So, yeah. <laughs> I assume you don't have a girlfriend and you really want one, but your anxiety is too high. Uh, incorrect, well, correct but incorrect. Uh, correct on that I don't have a girlfriend, Incorrect on I want one really bad because I don't just, just got out of a three-year relationship uh, And I am ready to be single and not even looking for women at this point. I'm so over uh, The whole thing with girls the chase the it's really fun. I love the chase. I love picking up girls I love hooking up with girls like it's like it's, it's very addictive. It's it's like a it could become like an addiction, it could become, but it's a waste of my fucking time right now. It's just distracting and I wanna focus on other things. It, it ends up costing me money, usually costing me some health because a lot of times when I'm going and, you know, picking up girls, a lot of it has to do with drinking in bars and, or just, you know, going for drinks and hanging out and stuff like that. So it's just a lot of time wasted being kind of drunk, spending a bunch of money and really the return the chase is funner than the reward. Let's just say that. When it actually comes down to the actual physical hooking up, it's, you know, it's good or whatever, but it's not as fun as the chase of like somebody eventually being like allowing you the opportunity to like do things sexually with them. That right there in the mind is like what's the most rewarding part of it. So um, that's something I am not doing right now. Uh, and. Um, yeah, I'm in monk mode. I assume most of these comments will be about you smoking weed, but I assume you don't smoke. You hit the nail on the head. I don't smoke, and a bunch of these comments are about weed. I assume that you are bald because you always wear a hat. Could be. I don't know. 
you might find out one day you may not my style is my style it is what it is <laughs> i assume black hoodie is secretly wingman asmr i mean not so secretly <laughs> i am <laughs> I assume you aren't happy. Uh, to an extent, you're right. Um, mainly because I can't do in my life what it is that I want to be doing at all times. That's the life I envision for myself that I, I'm working to achieve. Um, so yes, I'm not happy at all times. I still work, uh, you know, at a job that I don't necessarily want to see myself doing forever. It's more like a means to an end. But the people I work with are great. Uh, the employers are great. I love my work at work. Like I love the people and everything. I just, for me, like for something more fulfilling for myself as a career is to be calling my own shots and creating my own world and creating things like, you know, content and music and just using my brain and my ideas to, to put them out in the world and have them reciprocated and, you know, uh, given attention and given you know monetary reimbursement for things like that and just where I'm my own person I'm my own boss like I'm not in some corporate chain I'm not just another number like you know what I mean I don't want to live like that forever so you're right uh, I'm working towards my happiness uh, the other thing about happiness is like yeah I'm happy at times during the day obviously there's like times of joy like I'm happy right now doing this video I'm happy eating this food but happy is not something that's supposed to be all the time and everlasting happiness is like like sun and moon yin and yang light and dark positive negative you have to have a range of emotions to fully experience life and enjoy life so um, the goal isn't to be happy all the time because happy isn't a state of achievement that can be um, static and exist forever it's not supposed to it's not meant to you're supposed to go through hard times and sad times and funny times and you know loving times and happy times it's not meant to be all the time so you're right i'm not happy at all times i'm only happy sometimes i assume you're kind of a scummy guy when it comes down to girls and women uh it depends what you mean by scummy um, for me, it's just like, I treat women with respect. Uh, it all just depends on what transaction we're having though. Like from person to person, every relationship that you're having has different intention. Some of it is just very surface level, physical, basic hookup stuff. In that situation, it's easier to maybe be kind of scummier, but it's like, on their side, maybe they're not accept or expecting any expectation of like a, like a true relationship. So it's like how surface level is the relationship? Um, how sexually charged is the relationship? If it's not, if I'm like just a friend with a girl, yeah, I treat girls like as they should be, like a human being, like anybody should, like with respect. <laughs> Uh, if it comes to a relationship where I'm actually like like love you or like you or in, invested in you obviously I wouldn't be scummy like I would try to honor that as much as I can and then as soon as things get complicated like if in, in my past relationship I'm gonna talk about it eventually after a bunch of years you know things start kind of falling apart people are changing things expectations aren't being aren't being met, like just the vibe is different. So, you know, it's all subject to change and things like that. So I don't know, it's very complicated, but no, I'm, I don't intentionally be scummy <laughs> to women. Oh, here's another one that compliments that one. I assume you're rough as f AF in bed. Uh, like what, what I said, once again, the situation dictates the action. So if it's the type of girl who enjoys that, I certainly can turn that on. If she's not, I certainly can be, you know, just the opposite. It can be very tender as well. So it all depends. Like it's just very subjective. It's a matter of what that person's vibe is. But I have no issues throwing a little choke in there if that's what you're wondering.
I assume that you, <laughs> oh my God, have a 10 inch uncut snake between your legs and it has seven thumbs up. I think it's the most thumbs up of any, anything, any comment. So congratulations, your comment wins the most likes. Uh, do I have a 10 inch uncut snake between my legs? <laughs> uh, 10 inches is excessive. I wouldn't even want that to be honest. Uh, I've been told by many, many women that too big is not fun and I've been told by guys that having too big is not even good for them. So um, yeah, I wouldn't even want a tenner, but um, as far as that goes, it's not at my discretion to disclose here. It's really inappropriate, I believe. Um, that being said, on the basis of the surgical procedure, uh, according to dudes at birth, let's just say that the only hat I have is on my head right now. You know what I mean? It's this one. So do with that what you will. And uh, yeah, that wraps it up. And I'm full. I can't keep eating these snacks for later, I guess. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Till the next one, eat good, live well, stay true. Peace.